And only on Fox tonight, the Russian invasion of Ukraine is hitting a little too close to home for a lot of families across the U.S. who still have family in the region, including neighbors right here in the upstate. You're looking at pictures of Helena and an 83 year old Ukrainian woman who is stuck in the capital city tonight mm. as the Russian army advances. And tonight we did talk to her granddaughter who says the family is moving heaven and earth to do everything they can to make sure she is safe and trying to get her out as soon as possible. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax talked with that family. He joins us live in our newsroom with the details of what Helena is telling her is going on in the country as we speak. Cody, Tori, Helena's granddaughter Brooke tells me her mom immigrated to the States from the Ukraine almost 25 years ago, but her grandparents chose to stay behind. Now, the plan was always to bring Helena over here eventually, but they did not think a catastrophic war would happen this soon. She's alone and um, we're, we're stuck. We don't know what to do and she doesn't really have anyone to go to. So we're trying to get her out of there. Brooke Prince says it felt inevitable, but her family is still in shock. It definitely came as a shock when it actually happened. You know, we've been talking about it for years. As Russian forces push deeper into the Ukraine, her family's prayers reside with her 83-year-old grandmother, Helena, living in the capital of Kiev, who she says they are on the phone with constantly day and night. We were trying to get my mom to Ukraine about a week ago. Um, before they invaded and I'm, I'm glad it didn't work out, but my grandma is just in hysterics, you know, it's scary. Brooke says her mom came to the States more than two decades ago, leaving her grandparents in the Ukraine. Helena is old enough to remember how things were in the now dissolved Soviet Union. Brooke says she also hears about it from her mom and older brother. She tells me the stories. It's 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 insane. It's total control. It, it's terrifying. And it, it's not something, you know, I would ever want to experience, and I know no one else would ever want to experience. After her grandfather, Nikolai, passed, they planned to bring Helena to live with them. It's taken a while to get everything processed for my grandmother. Then, just two days ago, the unthinkable happened. I've seen a lot of heartache. I've seen, you know, a lot of um, desperation um, and hurt. Um, through this kind of crisis that's been going on. Brooke's boyfriend, Elijah Tony, says Brooke had the idea of posting on social media to explain her grandmother's situation. It's really, you know, been humbling in a, in a sense to, um, you know, call upon, you know, the community for help. But they both say the response has been overwhelming. I've had so many people people that don't even have connections, you know, doing research and like finding organizations that can help. The family are working with state congressmen, senators and others, but say they're still living hour to hour, minute to minute. I just hope that, you know, Russia will stop, you know, stop invasion. Someone will stop them. Brooke says although things look bleak, she feels emboldened by the support from everyone who has messaged her and hopes that will manifest itself into a solution for Helena. And for other families in similar situations, she has a message. Community is a really powerful thing, and you're not going to expect the response you're going to get, but people care, and they want to help. A little bit of hope in this crazy uh, depressing situation that's happening over in the Ukraine. Now, we plan to follow up with Brooke and her family. As she mentioned, there are a lot of other Ukrainians in South Carolina experiencing similar situations. That community very strong. Our prayers are with all of them tonight. Cody, Tori.